Birmingham has been at the forefront of transplants since the pioneering and visionary work of Sir Peter Medawar, who was awarded a Nobel Prize for his work on tissue grafting, the basis of organ transplants. The first liver transplant in Birmingham was carried out in 1982 by Professor Paul McMaster. Today, following on from his team's vision and dedication, over 90% of Birmingham's liver transplant patients not only survive, but the vast majority lead a normal and active life. When I first had the phone call to tell that I needed um, the actual liver transplant, I thought, this can't be happening to me. Uh, I've always been in good health, why should I suddenly become poorly? And when I actually had to tell the test and I was diagnosed, it was in the case where I had the transplant or I was going to die. To start with, I was in complete denial. I didn't feel or I didn't think that I needed to go get as far as needing a transplant. To start with, I thought that I would just get on with medication absolutely fine. But when I started to become more jaundiced and then more people were looking at me and saying that I was unwell, and that's when I started to realise, yeah, it's reality, it's going to happen. Deaths from liver disease have soared by 40% in a decade. More and more patients are waiting for life-saving liver transplants. Around 400 livers donated each year are considered too high risk for transplantation and 20% of patients on the list are removed or sadly die before they receive a suitable offer. I received a call at 10 to 1 in the morning and at first I was in disbelief that there was going to be a family that time in the morning and uh, I was in surprise and shock really. I didn't think it, the phone call was for me, I thought that someone in my family was unwell because it was at 6 o'clock in the morning but when my mum came in and handed me the phone I was like my heart just dropped, didn't know what to say or what to do. Through Birmingham Health Partners we are working with University Hospitals Birmingham to develop a test for donated livers so that they are safe to transplant. The Organox Metra is a perfusion device that keeps the donor liver alive and mimics the conditions that a liver would experience inside the human body. We give it blood, oxygen and nutrients at the body's normal temperature. And under these conditions, the liver starts to function and even gets the opportunity to start to repair itself. After I had the operation, I just couldn't believe what I'd been through. And literally in a few hours, I felt a total change in myself. I think recovery-wise, I think I started to feel more normal and back to myself. I think it took a good month, but once I was back on my feet, that was it. I was normal. The only way I can describe is I'm being reborn again. Across Birmingham, we've already delivered over 5,000 successful liver transplants, and we have the largest solid organ transplantation programme in Europe. Research is always a major part of any transplant operation, and without the involvement of the university and the hospital combined, we wouldn't be in the situation we are now with the advancements that are being made today. The research at the University of Birmingham is evolving, and without it, I wouldn't be here today. A successful transplant can change and ultimately save a life. It's wonderful to hear that your patients have gone on to lead full lives and it's why we do what we do.